So I'm gonna show you how to use your music and sound effect to create transition in your edit. These are just some pro tip that I wanna show to you guys. And I've used this in my previous short film that I did and I uh, hope you guys have checked that out. So I'm gonna show you you guys how you can use your own music to create transitions. I'm not talking about buying those uh, package online and whatever that you guys are gonna find there and start using just create transitions here and there. I know you've seen a lot of that. So I'm just gonna show you how you're gonna use your own music to create transitions in your edits. All right guys, before we dive in there, I just released my new preset uh, video like that you can just grab on, on my website. These are really nice. It could really gonna help you to speed up your workflow without wasting any time. And I think there are like seven, seven in the package that you can use and not to waste your time. This package is really gonna help you guys. So one thing you're just gonna do once you apply the package, you're just gonna do a little bit of tweaking here and there. And I've really paid attention to the exposure, the eyelids and all that. And I'm still working on new ones. So guys, if you really wanna support me, you can just buy this package and really gonna help me. All right, we're just gonna jump in there and I'm gonna show you how you're gonna use this transition. All right guys, so I'm just gonna play this video with the sound effect on and off. So just you guys can really pay attention to that. So this is what I did, uh, as you can see, if I have to go back and play the video, I'm just going to play it. There you go, you can hear that this is the music that I actually use from my intros and then we're just going to jump into the scene. So what I did was uh, I had to just play with my keyframe to fade in the sound and this, re this can really help to create a little bit of you might not really pay attention to the details but as soon as you keep watching the video you're going to see that it really adds a bit of of quality to your videos and how you edit so and i had to just add on a lot of uh sound effect and uh, just to enhance the visual and to tell the story that this guy is drowning if i have to bring down all my sound effects i'm just gonna bring them all of them down quite a lot just gonna bring them down and then if we have to play the video there's really nothing happening in there nothing happened so check this out i'm gonna bring this up and i'm gonna play it so there's there's a transition like coming from here and then going up is as it come out of the water you can see there's a transition just playing up there and there we go and i'm gonna show you a second one and how you're gonna do it I, I found myself using this quite a lot in my edit so I, I have no name for this I mean I'm gonna call it like a fade out uh, transition so this is what is gonna happen right so as soon as I play my footage let me just play this part I can feel my bone and blood rushing through my veins again and I can feel myself finally and then boom it goes blank it goes dark nothing is happening but you need to pay attention to this i had a little bit of uh windy in the background and then we jump in in the second shot so this can really also just uh grab the attention of the audience as the uh, watching your short film like it's like you're triggering their mind like what is happening instead of you leaving this uh empty or nothing is happening you can just add a little bit of uh sound effect this is just a wind uh sound effect playing in the background and if you play that you can add there's wind in the, in the background so the reason why i had wind in there just to show you guys if you can see all my frame there's uh trees yeah there's windy and all that so you just need to pay attention to that and then just to create a transition in there you don't have like for instance you inside the house and then you you end up using uh wind sound sound effect doesn't really make sense so what i did was i just need to play with the audio in mind like okay you can see there are trees in there and then after a while once you play the video and then you're just gonna fade out and there's just wind going through and then we jump into the second scene and i also did this on my on my second scene as well i think this one all right i'm just gonna go back all right so this is where i just gonna fall down let me just remove all all right so there we go 
boom we out and then you can just listen to the sound effect a little bit of uh sounds wind the bird making a lot of quite quite a bit of noise in there and then after that we jump into the next scene so this is a little bit of my intros and then we fade out so i think this can really help you guys just to like help you tell stories like instead of you um i mostly find myself using using this kind of technique when when i where i don't find to have enough footage that i can use in that in that space so i'm just gonna leave it uh open and then just place my just place my my sound effect in there and it's really gonna help just really gonna help create a story and you know, just make it sounds professional so i think this can really help you guys just to use this kind of uh technique and then it's gonna help you guys just to enhance the visual whenever you you're editing your video the last tip that i want to share with you guys is um keyframes all right i'm just gonna so this is my music right so i'm just from like from this angle yeah, i'm gonna play just pay attention to the sound it goes where am i and then goes up what is and then the sound goes down and then it goes out all right i always use this keyframe just to uh let me just go back i just want to show you guys how we started right so maybe i'm gonna come from here did you see how i play with my my sound effect just to add a little bit of transition in the next in the next shot so like from here i'm just gonna play again and then it goes up And then it goes down, goes down, and then the voice over just came in, and then we jump to the second shot. Uh, if you really pay attention to this, to details on music, sound effect, you can really gonna, it's really gonna help you create transition without using any of this package. You can just use this, and it's gonna blow your mind. I'm sure some of you guys have watched uh, your series and uh, movies on television. You have seen. Uh, they don't use this kind of transition that we mostly find ourselves using on YouTube speed transitions and all that i'm not saying you shouldn't use them but you can still use them but if you want to go like for short form and all that i think this kind of technique can really help you just to enhance the quality and the visual and all that that you're gonna find yourself whenever you're editing all right guys there you have it for today uh don't forget to go check out my presets that i just released recently and if you can buy them, it's really going to help me just to create more videos for you guys. I know it's been a while that I've released a new tutorial because I was kind of busy. And I hope I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Enjoy. Peace.